This lesson deals with supplemental problem 224. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 23. In supplemental problem 223, we found the voltage across a 1K resistor by measuring with an analog voltmeter and then measuring it with an analog ammeter. Let's repeat that same exercise, but this time using a digital voltmeter, in particular the Fluke Model 87. It has the capability of measuring voltage and measuring current. The equivalent circuit is about 10 mega ohms, quite different from the 10K we had in our analog meter. Now when you put it in the ammeter setting, the equivalent resistance that you see depends on what scale you're on. If you're measuring in milliamps, it's about 1.7 ohms. If you're measuring microamps, it's about 100 ohms. If you're measuring amperes, it's around 300 milliohms. We were hooking up a 9 volt source with two 1K resistors, so we're looking at currents that are in milliamps. So if I were to set it in the milliamp scale, the equivalent resistance would be about 1.7. So let's see how those measurements turn out. Now putting a 10 mega ohm in parallel with a 1K, I have a parallel resistance here again, which is the product over the sum, and it turns out to be 999.9. .9. So now my voltage divider is that value of resistance plus the 1K, and then times the nine volts. Now I get a 4.4998 volt reading, and I should expect to see a 4.5 if this wasn't here, and my error now has really dropped to a minus 0.005%. So again, whenever you measure something, you do change it. The real key to reducing errors is to make sure that your equivalent circuit um, has a very minor effect on the thing you're connecting it to. Let's take a look at the uh, ammeter reading. Now this time I've got a 1.7 ohm resistance, and so my total current now is gonna be nine volts divided by 1K plus 1K plus the 1.7, which is 2001.7. If I multiply that by the 1K that's here, I get a voltage of 4.4961. That again is a small error, but it's a little bit bigger than last time because this was 0.33 ohms. But one of the problems of using ammeters for measuring current and then calculating voltages or whatever else you're going to do with it is that the resistance does change, whereas on the voltmeter reading it doesn't. You've got to be aware of these things when you're taking measurements. And this is supplemental problem 224.